Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Dillinger Bafang mid-drive system that's installed here on the Extra Cycle Edge Runner cargo bike. Uh, this is the, uh, the mid-drive system where the motor powers through the gears of the bike and uh, makes it f easy to climb hills and, and cruise along the flats. Um, this is a 750 watt version and uh, that's the, the legal limit in the US and uh, it works out pretty well for the cargo bike to be able to carry uh, heavier loads, but uh, Dillinger also makes 250, 350, and 500 watt versions uh, of this system. So uh, in this video I'll just go through some of the installation process as well as uh, the features of this to give you an idea of, of what the system's all about and you can check out the full review at electricbikereport.com. So first of all the uh, instructions say to mount the chain ring onto the, the motor and then line up these holes with that and then you want to have the chain ring so it's a little bit recessed uh, to the inside like that and then you want to take the uh, screws here and install those so you want to make sure that you've got all the uh, screws installed and uh, tightened per the uh, torque spec from the instructions. Okay, so next you take the uh, drive unit and uh, install this portion of it into the bottom bracket. Just like that. Next you'll take this uh, piece here and that has uh, some teeth that actually point towards the uh, frame of the bike and install that just like that and then these two screws will tie in just like that. So then make sure that both the screws that hold that uh, piece on are nice and tight and tighten to the proper torque spec per the instructions. So once you've got the motor in position which should be uh, up towards the down tube of the frame right here you'll take this lock nut and then uh, thread that onto the um, bottom bracket area here and you'll use a, uh, a spanner wrench to tighten that down properly. Then there's a second lock ring that you'll install over the uh, first lock ring. Screw that on like so. And then you'll grab um, a wrench like this that will tighten it down. So now we put the crank arms on. And uh, what you want to do is make sure you put the left uh, crank arm on the left side, which is over here. And then uh, use one of these bolts to tighten it on there. Then make sure you tighten the crank arm to the proper torque spec per the instructions. All right, next we'll take the uh, pedals and uh, thread them onto the cranks and make sure they're tight with the uh, pedal wrench. All right, so next up what you'll do is install the plastic chain ring guard and uh, you put that on the outside of the chain ring there and then uh, on the inside, there's these uh, screws that will uh, install from the chain ring into the plastic chain ring guard. And then uh, install the right crank arm and the right pedal just like the left side. All right, so next I installed the display on the uh, handlebars right there. And then there's the, uh, the power and the plus and minus for the pedal assist uh, buttons right there. And then uh, that's the throttle, the thumb throttle control. Uh, normally it goes on the other side of the handlebars, but uh, it's a little bit crowded here with the shifter and the uh, brake lever and the bell. So um, I decided to put the thumb throttle uh, right there. So to attach the uh, handlebar display, uh, you basically just uh, tighten down little clamps on the uh, handlebar and display. Uh, it uses a three millimeter Allen uh, bolt to uh, tighten that down. Same thing with the back side of uh, the on off button and the pedal assist and then it also uses a three millimeter uh, Allen wrench for the, uh, the thumb throttle too. Okay, so next what we'll do is attach the battery mount to the frame. And uh, on most bikes, it would attach to the down tube where those uh, bolts are for a water bottle cage. Uh, but in this case, uh, on the extra cycle, there's some mounts that are further back that are designed to uh, uh, attach the battery. Um, so it's right back here, kind of hidden away. Okay, next what you want to do is uh, run all the wiring uh, on the bike and then uh, make the proper connections. Uh, the connections are actually uh, color-coded mostly and uh, they've got specific sizes so it makes it really easy to make sure you're connecting the proper wires together. 
So once the battery mount is attached to the frame, then you'll take the battery and uh, place it on the mount and then just slide it back and lock it into place and you're good to go. Okay, so this is the 48 volt, 8 amp hour lithium ion battery that comes on the 750 watt uh, Dillinger Baofeng main drive. And uh, you can see here that I've got uh, it hooked up to the charger. And the charger's pretty small, it's like a laptop charger. And uh, it'll fully charge the battery in about uh, four hours. So one of the cool features with the uh, Dillinger system is that it has a USB port uh, right there on the side of the battery pack. So you can uh, run a USB cable up to, uh, say, charge your smartphone or tablet or MP3 player, uh, whatever you got. You know, uh, the ability to charge that on the go is, is pretty handy. And, you know, you can also remove the battery pack uh, from the bike and have that uh, charging those devices uh, off the bike if you want. All right, so here's the uh, LCD display, and you've got your battery level, uh, your pedal assist level, uh, your current time, the uh, current speed, uh, your total distance or odometer, and then also your uh, trip distance. So uh, just enough features, and it's uh, pretty nice because it's uh, front and center, it's really large. It also has a backlight feature too for riding at night. All right, so that's the overview of the Dillinger Bafang mid-drive system. Make sure you check out the full review at electricbikereport.com.